Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my November favorites. I have a bunch of stuff to share with you guys this month. A lot of things that have become holy grail to me. And I used majority of the products that I could on my face today, just so you could see them in action. I did film this tutorial as well. I think it's going to be up before my favorites video, so if it is, I'll link it in this video so you guys can check it out. But this is my Christmas Day makeup, what I'll probably be wearing this year. If you want to see all the products that I've been loving this past month, then just keep watching. I have two foundations to talk about. One I'm wearing on my face right now and another that I've just been using a ton. And it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. And I was avoiding trying this at first because I thought it would be similar to the Marc Jacobs Remarkable, which I did not like. I feel that foundation is either a love or hate for most people, and it was definitely a hate for me. It just did not work for my skin. It just was too full coverage. So I thought this was going to be kind of like that. That's why I avoided picking it up. I ended up picking this up last minute during the VIB sale. So I saved a little bit of money because I was trying samples and I absolutely loved it. It is full coverage. It doesn't look cakey on your skin. It's very lightweight on your skin and it's just really great. It's really easy to use. I use one of those oval brushes to apply it, those Makeup Revolution ones, which I really love as well. I just apply it that way and it works out really well. I have the shade 4.0. 5.0 is a fresh tan for me and 4.0 works most days for me. So that's my shade. Really love this, highly recommend checking it out. If you were fearful of it for the same reasons I was, do pick up a sample. And then what I'm wearing right now on my skin is from Graftobian Cosmetics. And I've had this palette, well this one particularly is somewhat new. I've picked up multiples of these before in the past because I used to use this foundation on clients. And I decided to take it out of my freelance kit and use it on myself because I was seeing a couple other YouTubers use this palette. It's really nice if you self tan like I do. You can adjust your shade accordingly and you can also cream contour with this. I use this for concealing and for cream contour today. And these are a very, very concentrated long wear formula. And if you use it just as is, you'll get full coverage, but you can also mix it with moisturizer or anything like that to shear the coverage out a bit. This is great for oily skin, dry skin, any skin type can use this. And that's why I used it on my clients and I forgot how much I liked it when I pulled it out and saw other people using it. This is the Super Palette in Warm. They also have a cool one. I found that this one specifically would work for more people, so that's why I picked this one up. These two products probably won't come as a surprise to any of you. They are the Makeup Forever highlighters, the new ones they came out with. They're called the Pro Light Fusion, and they only have two shades right now. They have one and two. This is one, it's a more pink tone shade, and this is hands down my favorite highlighter formula ever. It looks so amazing on the skin. You can wear it more naturally, but you can also easily build it up. The formula is skin-like, but it also gives you that really intense highlight if that's what you're looking for without looking like there's too much product on your skin. It just melts into your skin. I can't say enough good things about them. If you haven't checked them out already, I highly, highly recommend them. As I said, it's definitely my new favorite highlighter of all time. I wore this glitter in my Sephora VIB sale haul video. And I had so many people ask what was on my lids. And I was going to save this to do a New Year's look. But I figured this would look pretty for a Christmas Day holiday makeup look. So that's what I'm wearing on my lid right now. It is so gorgeous. This is my favorite glitter out of all the lit ones that I own. It's called Champagne Wishes. It has a champagne base, but you can see flecks of purple and gold and it just has the most beautiful shine to it. You could see in that video I had so many people wondering what was on my eyelids but it was this glitter. It is amazing. I would use it with the lit glitter base which I recommend for all glitters now because it's just the best glitter base there is. I think I mentioned it in my last month's video as well so now I'm mentioning a glitter. Hands down my favorite one is Champagne Wishes and it's in the size number two in case you're curious. On my lips I have been wearing and loving this new color from Gerard Cosmetics. It is one of their liquid lipsticks. They're called Hydra Mattes because they're not a drying liquid lipstick. They do have some hydration. I've been wearing this color specifically for a few hours now. Zero dehydration to my lips at all. I just love the formula. It's one of my top formulas of liquid lipstick when I was reviewing them. I think I put it as a number three for me personally. It's right up there with my top three at least. And this is in the shade Strawberry Fields. I am wearing it on my lips right now. I'm so in love with this color. I think it's perfect 
perfect for the holidays. I don't have anything quite like this color. It has a beautiful pinkish base to it, but also it's red. It's strawberry. It's seriously perfection. So definitely recommend checking this out if you like what you see on my lips. It's one of my favorite colors right now. Sticking with lip products, I figure I'll do my lips right now. I don't think I mentioned this one before. It is from Maybelline. It's called Born With It. It's number 15. It's part of the Color Sensational line. The packaging looks like this. And I initially picked this one up because I heard that it was a dupe for the really popular Tom Ford. I think it's Blush Nude or something like that. I'll leave it down below. I haven't picked it up because Tom Ford is it's expensive. And I heard this was a really good dupe for it. So I went with the Maybelline option just because it's more affordable. And I've been wearing this on a daily. It's just like the perfect everyday kind of nude color, pink nude. And that's it right there. So if you like the Tom Ford one or just don't want to spend the money on it, like me, then I would recommend this Maybelline one because from swatches I've seen side by side, this is a really, really good option. The next lip product I wanted to talk about is pretty recent to me, but I fell in love with these. This is from L'Oreal Paris. This is the Extreme Resist formula. They have a cream and a matte formula. This one caught my eye because it's sparkly and I think it's perfect for the holiday season. I put this on right away. I had zero makeup on. I was just wearing it all day. It wore a long time. It didn't feel gritty and the color is beautiful and it's in 507 Resist Me. You guys know already that this type of product is definitely up my alley. Look at that. It's beautiful color. I love it so 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 much. And then you guys recommended that I pick up this Tarte Primer. It is their Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer and it has a lot of really great ingredients in it and it's a pore filling primer. It also smooths out any kind of fine lines. I like to put this underneath my eyes as well as on my nose and anywhere I have more noticeable pores like right on top of my cheeks right here. I like to just dab it in and it works wonders for filling in lines and pores like I said and you guys recommended this to me and I've been loving it. So definitely a favorite of mine this month. And then I've also been really into the Tarte Tartist Clay Paint Liner. I don't typically wear gel or I guess this is a clay liner because I just don't like to bother with the brush. You'll typically always see me use a pen liner, but I do really like this one because it doesn't dry out like other potted gel liners. It is in a little squeezy tube, plus if you accidentally squeeze it too much, it has a little reservoir where you can just move your brush in and it saves the product. So I think this is hands down the best design for a gel or a clay paint liner, any kind of paint type gel liner, I think should all be in this packaging. This is the best packaging there is because it won't dry out. Just absolutely love it, had to recommend it. If you have a problem with your gel liners drying out like I do, this won't do that for you, so love that. For me personally, I could just use a drugstore mascara, but something about this mascara, it just works for my lashes, and it's from Giorgio Armani. It's the Eyes to Kill. I had this a while ago, wanted to use it again, and I fell back in love with it. I actually really like this for my lower lashes. It gives so much volume, and since I've been using Revitalash, my lower lashes are like amazing. I love, love Revive Lash too. I mentioned that in the favorites already before. That's going to be in a yearly favorites because that changed my lashes completely. But I love this for my lashes when I'm not wearing falsies, when I want really dramatic lower lashes. Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. Hands down recommend that. It's worth the price to me. Even though it's Giorgio Armani and it's just a mascara, it's worth it to me. Then I've also been really liking this powder from Kat Von D. I don't have the packaging anymore because if you saw my Sephora VIB haul video, it broke out of my packaging. That shouldn't be doing that, but I still like the product anyways, even though that happened. So I just put it in my little Z palette, but I've been using this just to set those areas that get oily, my T-zone. And I got it in a lighter shade. I believe this is light 48. And I like the lightness of it because I have been preferring a more bright under eye and just the areas to set anywhere where I potentially could get oily is what I like to use this for. Plus it's full coverage and it has smoothing properties to me. It smooths out any kind of pores, fine lines, any issue like that. It just makes it look seamless. So that's why I've been liking that. Works wonders for me. A little affordable option that I found at Shoppers Drug Mart 
is this Quo sponge. It was only seven bucks. So if you like the Morphe sponge, this one is a great Canadian version of it that is cheaper because the Morphe one is $6.99, $7. This is $7 Canada. You can pick it up at Shopper. You don't have to order it online and it's purple, which is my favorite color ever. It's dirty because I have been using it, but love, love this sponge. And that's everything for makeup. I also wanted to mention my watch and bangle that I've been wearing. I've been wearing this in a ton of videos lately and I'm still getting questions on what it is. I put this in the description box for you guys. Whenever I have any kind of jewelry I think you guys would like to know about, this is from Daniel Wellington. It's one of their new styles. It's their classic black version. I will link my specific one that I have in the description box, but they also came out with bangles too. I have a rose gold one from Daniel Wellington as well, which I really like. So they're starting to get some jewelry pieces, but normally they just had the watches. This is definitely my favorite style that they have carried thus far because it's black on black. You guys know I love my black, plus you have the option of either silver or rose gold. I do have a coupon code, non-affiliate. It will just save you some money if you do happen to make a purchase. It's by Cheryl and it will save you 15%. So if you want to watch for yourself or someone for the holidays, it's a perfect time to pick one up because it is a discount code for you guys to save a little bit of money. Non-affiliate, as I said, but it will just save you some money. And I think that's it for my favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video or getting into the holiday spirit like I am. I can't wait to film in my new setup in my room. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It looks so awesome. During filming this I was giving some sneak peeks because I was setting up that room but I wanted to finish filming here. So I'm so excited for you guys to see my final setup. I'm still all over the place though because I'm waiting for the things to come in. So hopefully this video turns out. I just set up my system by my Christmas tree. As always, let me know what has been your favorites from this past month. I'd love to know. You guys always give me the best recommendations. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I would use... Hello? I just had movers come and deliver couch. My dogs are coming over here now. Hi. I don't think there's any room for you. Don't go through there. Right under the camera.